So day 74, I came up with a plan. Um, so I've been good with the calories, but I'm thinking maybe part of the stall is I'm still eating some bad foods. Uh, uh, one of the uh, biggest offenders, I believe, in my diet is sugar. So during this uh, two week commitment, don't weigh myself and keep my calories in check, exercise regularly, I'm going to cut out any like pleasure sugars, like no peppermint patties that I normally have, you know, no cookies, none of that, no, uh, even though I'm, I feel like I'm going to cry saying it, no uh, iced coffee. I'm actually going to do um, where uh, I'm staying still between like 1,000 1,200 calories a day, but I'm going to do it with uh, breakfast and lunch being a protein shake, very high protein. Uh, like they make some that's like 40 something grams of protein. So one of those for breakfast and lunch along with like a serving of fruit or something like that. And uh, then my dinner, you know. But I'm probably going to have to bring the dinner up to like 600 calories. Uh, just to make sure I'm getting the calories I need and exercising. Of course, I read a couple of things that said uh, not resting enough can also cause a stall because your body's too tired to continue the fat burning process. So I kind of rested up over the weekend. Um, so we're going to try that. Uh, you know, I did go through the uh, discouraged man, what the hell? I was doing good. I was doing five miles a day. I was doing this. How did I not lose but not even half a pound? And uh, I did go ahead and refeed, um, which you need to do every so often. But, uh, you know, honestly, I had a few of those moments where it's like, you know, I got this far and now it won't let me get any further. You know, it's been coming up on a month. I've hardly lost anything. But we're not going to do that. We're going to make that goal regardless. We made that commitment. It's on my arm. We're going to do it. So, uh, work's been pretty good. I uh, thought this week was just going to end up to be okay, but after today, uh, it'll probably be pretty good. So, that's where we're at. So, there will be no way in uh, this coming Friday. I'm just going to uh, wait two weeks. And I'm going to be super strict with myself. Because I can be honest. Um, well, two of the weeks that I didn't lose anything, I didn't expect to. Because I had the Washington trip and, uh, you know, the other things going on. Uh, so counting calories, portioning out and everything wasn't really an option at that time. So I didn't expect to lose anything. But what I'm very happy with is I didn't really gain anything either. So, uh, it's really only been like two weeks in a stall, actually, not four. But, um, being completely honest with myself, I was, uh, snacking more than I was to begin with. And, uh, it's a habit that starts small and then you let it get away from you. And before you know it, you still don't think you're eating that much because you could eat a whole lot more. But, uh, but you are actually you're getting the calories up there. So, no snacking. Be super strict with that diet plan for the next two weeks. And uh, I'll weigh myself, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after. And uh, I still think my face is changing a bit. 
Because I know you go through several phases of changing of changes when you do something like this, like losing a crap load of weight. Um, I know you go through several phases. So, is there like a crease there? Oh, I don't have it there. Because I think I did have it there at one point. Oh, maybe that one will go away. At any rate. So that's what I'm looking at. Do that. I'm going to hit that weight goal. Regardless. Uh, I don't know. You guys ever heard of anybody that hit a stall and, you know, have a tip of getting past it? Let me know. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.